Uh, well, yeah, okay, cool. We're supposed to be live. It's telling me we're live. My phone isn't telling me I'm live. So I don't know if I'm live because of the delay. Come on, be live. Offline. Live! There we go! Hey! Ah! Yay! Alright, so now, first things first, I do want to open this, but uh, I'm just checking the stream, so this is going to get noisy. Well, yeah, okay, cool. We're supposed to be live. It's telling me we're live. Yay! It's telling me I'm live. Alright, cool. Alright, so, I am Cheshire. Cheshire plays games on the YouTubes. Uh, I am one half the host of uh, Board Games and Brewskies, which is starting today with my friend Urban Neurosis slash Gemma. Um, so you should go and totally check out her uh, her Twitch. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay, everything looks all right. Uh, I'm going to rely on you for feedback to let me know how this looks. Um, because I haven't streamed from this brand new PC yet. Uh, so I'm a little bit excited because it, it looks like it's working to me but it might not be. <clears throat> Let me just bring up Twitch so that I can uh, chat to everyone in the chat room because otherwise that will be a very, very bad thing once it loads. Wait for it to load. I'm going to rely on you for feedback to let me know how this looks. Um, because I haven't streamed from this brand new PC yet. Uh, okay. So I'm a little bit excited because it, it looks like it's working to me, but it might not be. <clears throat> Let me just bring up Twitch so that I can uh, yeah, chat to everyone in the chat room. Because otherwise that will be a very, very bad thing. Once it loads. Waiting for it to load. Huh. I'm going to rely on for feedback. Let me know. Kick back know. there. Um, hey, Jam! That Urban Neurosis is the one I was talking about. Uh, so you should go and totally subscribe to her channel. Uh, that's weird. There we go. <laughs> Just had to mute it. That was terrible. Uh, one second. What do you say, Jam? Yeah, that's, yeah, you can hear it uh, echoing because I was checking it. Um, I already muted it. I was checking it on my phone because that's, that's what I do. I, I am a terrible person. All right, so we have a box of Pokemon Sun and Moon to open. A uh, few things to get out of the way first. Check out my Patreon, Cheshire Plays Games. Uh, so I can keep creating content. Check out my YouTube, uh, and please go and subscribe, of course, because that's just, YouTube is important, and that, of course, is also uh, Cheshire Plays Games. We'll just chuck that over the side. I'm so happy that this is working. It looks pretty. Uh, so we have... Now, these can be mapped. I know I've said it on a number of videos, but uh, unfortunately, Pokemon Sun and Moon can indeed be mapped. I can show you exactly where each uh, hollow or ultra rare or secret rare is going to be in these packs. It's been done to death. You don't need me to do it. There's videos out there now. I didn't want to be that guy, so I didn't be that guy. And now everyone else has done it, so I probably should have been that guy. But, not going to happen. Oh, fresh goodness. This is really early in the morning. We're going to be shooting in... What, about just over an hour, Jam? Uh, until we start board games and brewskies, where we will be drinking brewskies and playing board games. I'm not going to tell you which board game we're going to be playing, um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's crack into these, shall we? Uh, I'm also one half the co-host uh, of Command of the Gathering, uh, which is our commander stream that I do with Bradley Dioshi. You might know from like doing Monster Hunter and stuff. We actually went out to, well, I went out to... A Twitch event last night, which was the Melbourne Twitch community meetup slash Final Fantasy, and it was so much fun. I'm a little bit tired though, uh, so you'll have to bear with me. Uh, codes I'm going to keep for me. 
I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person, but I'm going to now. I just need to check where my camera is looking. It's going to basically say, you need to go where the roosters are. Um, yeah. So I'm still working out this whole thing. I mean, I don't really like the way that the webcams are. They don't really show up the cards well enough. But people know what these cards are anyway, really. Uh, so let's go straight to shininess. So we have an Araquid, Araquinid, and a Beware. Just love the art in this set. The set is fantastic. Uh, next booster. Again, I'm not going to show you how these boosters are mapped because that's terrible and you will already be able to find enough of that on YouTube. Straight to the back. Okay. That's how you know. So this means that we've got either an ultra rare, a hollow foil, or whatever. Uh, and we have a hollow Riombi. Riombi is cute. I really don't like the setup as much as I like using my phone for this. But that's alright. And we've got a reverse Pelipa. So Pelipa, Pel, Pel, Pelipa. Eh, no one really cares about the name, do they? I don't care. Uh, I think I will switch back for a second. There we go. Cool. Alright. So, for those of you who have been cracking Sun and Moon, how have you thought of the set so far? I thought it's a pretty good set. Um, I can't wait until we start seeing uh, the next... Well, this is basically a base set, so the set after this is going to be really interesting. Uh, we've got a Sandigust. Sandigust. And a Stoutland. Well, did my Twitch just stop for a minute there? That was really weird. Something happened, I'm not sure what happened, but... My Twitch seemed to freeze or stop for a second, which makes me really super nervous. Taking the code cards for me, because I need them, basically. Uh, and we have an Arcanine. And we have a Butterfree. Hopefully we can crack something magnificent like, oh, I don't know. A Secret Rare Ultra Ball would be real nice. As you can see, my setup is... Oh, just stopped itself again. My setup is uh, slightly complete, but not really, uh, and I am still half asleep, but uh, it's the price you pay for... Damn it, it's not... Ah. Okay, so it's not a Secret Rare Ultra Ball. Damn it. But that's cool. Uh, so we've got a Reverse Energy Switch and a Secret Rare Rotom Dex. It's not an Ultra Ball. I'm so sad. I shouldn't be. Gift horse mouth and all. Uh, so we'll just put that one down there. And we'll just put the other junk down below. Still, that's a pretty good start. Hopefully we can crack something better than that. And I really should have put a box around somewhere that I could have thrown all these empty booster packs in. Because they're just going to get in the way and all over the stream. Alright, so we have a Lily Reverse. Fantastic. And a hollow Gigalith. Gigliath? Gigalith? You think by now I'd know their names properly, but I just don't. It's fine. Alright. Oh god. So we have a Trumbeak Reverse. Shiny. And Gold Duck. The one thing I'll say about these sets, and I've noticed this over the last couple of sets, uh, maybe even more, is there's generally like one rare or one hollow foil that's really good, and the rest is kind of trash. I mean, basically you're looking at the the old, like, EXs were the best thing. Great. Oh, excuse me. Great, that's terrific. And now it's GXs, uh, and that's pretty annoying as well. Then we got here, Jupiter. It's pretending to be a spider, I guess, in water. I don't know. Dupider? Sounds like something my kid would have said when he was four. Dupider! Uh, we've got a Primarina. That's our rare. Maybe we can 
crack some other sweet stuff. I mean, generally speaking, every time I've gotten a secret rare in Sun and Moon, I've ended up with a, like, a really good box. Uh, these booster packs are just not great to open, though. Another green code card, so that means we're going to have trash. Uh, energy retrieval. Reverse. And a crab abominable. Crab, I'm not kidding. Crab abominable. Crab abominable. If you watch my YouTube, you'll know that uh, that's one card that I just have absolute disdain for because I can't say crab abominable. It just doesn't sound right. It's like when I say my own name, Albert. Who says that? That's why I go by Al. Uh, because my name is pretty junky. All right. So our reverse is a Hanson trio. I mean a Doug trio. <laughs> Guess they oh god white like blonde hair. They look like Hanson. Oh shut up now. Uh, and a cloister. Me. All right. So maybe after this, if we've got enough time, uh, because I have to leave here just before eleven, really. But if I've got enough time, I might even jump into uh, some Pokemon Online uh, and try out one of my new decks. I've been running uh, an Umbreon deck, which is pretty cool. I made a Passimian deck, uh, which I'm still trying to get used to. Um, and I've got a whole bunch of other decks that I'm working on so that I can do videos and stuff up for everyone. Uh, we got How as our Rus, and our Hollow is a Toxapex. So, so far, all we've gotten is a Secret Rare Rotom, uh, Rotom Dex, which means that this booster is probably going to contain that uh, jank, because the last one was Hollow Foil, but we've got plenty of boosters to go, and hopefully we'll crack something sweet. I don't think I've ever seen a box of Sun and Moon come out with two Secret Rares, I don't think. I guess we'll see. Doesn't matter. Uh, so our reverse is a potion, an oldie but a goodie. And damn it, I'm so sick of seeing a two cannon. Uh, for those following the Pokemon Online trading card game, if you play and you've been busting booster after booster of Sun and Moon, you'll know how many of those two cannons you've gotten in boosters are just terrible. Absolute trash. Uh, reverse switch, can't complain with that. And a Butterfree. I'm so much happier when this, this whole setup is complete, but at the moment the stream's going okay, so cross fingers. Oh There's something real pretty back here. Ah, ah, oh my goodness. Oh, that's so pretty. That's weird. The foil was underneath it though. Uh, that is a full art Espeon GX. It is just pretty. And then our reverse is Brion. Uh, you know what? Let's put our flower up here. Now, if this is anything like the last insane box of Sun and Moon that we opened, uh, I think we ended up with something like three FAs, two normal GX, and a secret rare. Uh, and I think that that actually was also a Rotom box. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, it's, it's possible that we don't get as much beautiful, pretty stuff, but you never know. Uh, okay, well, cracked into another one. Uh, this one is just a normal Primarima GX, and our reverse is a Battus. Must have taken that from the wrong pile. What are we gonna get? A reverse Makohita. Makohita. Okay, sure. And Hariyama, which is another rare that I'm so totally sick of seeing. Again, so much trash. So much trash. We have a Ryombi. And a lantern. Now, as I was saying before, uh, board games and brewskis is due to start in. Um, uh, yeah, okay, it's ten thirty already. Uh, it, it's going to start at one p.m. today. Uh, but I have to leave here in pretty much half an hour. Ah, uh, that's awkward. So 
So I should probably get my ass into gear and keep cracking packs. Uh, what have we got? We got Zubat. I always love me Zubats. Just fantastic. And an Incineroar. Zubats have to be one of my most favorite Pokemon outside of Ghost Pokemon. Just probably because I'm an old goth. Who knows? Back in another life. When I used to wear black. Alright, so we've got a Reverse Kangaskhan. And we've got a Hollow Foil Bollywhirl. Yeah, we'll put it in the back lot. Doesn't need to be up there selling our fantastic, beautiful Ultras. <laughs> nice to know that this is holding up really well. I've even got Twitch going in the background. Uh, and yeah, no, it's going really well. Excellent. Uh, of course, two cannon reverse. Not even going to go there. Uh, and a Bruxish. So for those of you just joining, uh, currently we have a full art Espeon GX, a secret rare Rotom Dex, and a Primarina GX. And we are about halfway through the box. Um, and I'm trying to hurry because in half an hour I have to leave to go to another stream. Uh, which is only like two blocks from my house, so it's not that bad. Uh, and that's board games and brewskis, where we'll be drinking brewskis, and we'll be playing board games with some of my closest and best friends. Uh, so that's pretty exciting to start up. Uh, we've got a Reverse Torah Cat. And we've got a Bruxish. And if you can't tell, yes, I'm Australian. I'm just, uh, I, I feel like I should be all like... G'day, mates! How you doing? Probably get more viewers if I played on the actual Australian angle, right? Right? Is that what people do? Yeah, that's what people do. Uh, okay, so we've got a reverse Pokemon Catcher. Now, funny enough, Pokemon Catcher, if you don't know, um, used to be uh, not having a coin flip to switch Pokemon, so it was uh, quite good. And the foil versions used to shoot up to like 60 bucks. It was crazy. And, of course, another two cannon. Because two cannon ruined my life all the time. All right, good to to get hard open. My hands are just not with it today. Obviously, did not have enough sleep. Uh, okay, so we've got a reverse Diglett, or one part of the Hanson trio, and our foil is an. Arcanine, which is actually one of the most beautiful Arcanines I think I've ever seen in this entire game, ever. Uh, which is interesting, because there's been a lot of Arcanines, but just the art in this set, and I think I keep saying it in every video, but the art in this set is just bloody amazing. Oh, something special. So we've got Toko Reverse, and... Hey, it's an Incineroar GX. I haven't actually seen one of these before, so I'm going to read it out to everyone. Uh, so it is one fire energy for Hustling Strike. Uh, so this attack does 20 more damage for each of your benched fire Pokemon. Wow, that's pretty good, actually. And then for two fire and a colorless, uh, you get a Tiger Swing, which is 80 plus, so flip two coins. Uh, this attack does 50 more damage for each heads. Yeah, that's alright, I guess. The GX attack is Burning Slam for two fire and a colorless for 200 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned. If they survive. I mean, GXs are going to be this big thing, so you assume that that's going to be a big deal. Cool. We are running low on packs, this is good. Try and get through it. Still got half an hour and I still want to get at least one uh, PTCGO game out there. Uh, we got a Litten Reverse. And we have a Cosmome, which is pretty cool, but I think I already have three, which is all I needed for a particular deck that I'm building. We have a Cutifly. Admittedly, it is cute, so name 
fine. Uh, Beware, which looks like totally something else. Uh, Jam would probably laugh his head off at. And it just keeps popping itself like it does. Aftermath. Okay, so we've got a reverse Grimer. That's pretty cool. I like that. And we have a Palace Sand, or Palace of Sand. Uh, oh, TPCI. You are so great with your names, aren't you? Oh, we got something good. Oh, it's something real fun. Uh, so we got Reverse Spiro and an Umbreon. Okay, so we've only got one FA so far, uh, and one Secret Rare. So this isn't as insane as the other box, which means that if you get a Rotom Dex in your box, it doesn't, it's not going to be the same as your other insane boxes where you're going to get a whole bunch of uh, full arts. And that's fine, uh, but at least it shoots that theory down. But it also means that this box isn't as insane as I wish it was. Crap Abominable Rivers. And Decidueye. Yay, Salsa. Reading the uh, the chat for board games and brewskies, because everyone's getting prepared and buying snacks and whatnot. So we're not drinking on empty stomachs. Uh, Dartrix Reverse. And Lantern. So we've gotten four GX and one Cigarette. There should be, I think, at least one more FA or GX in here. Ooh, reverse double colorless energy. DCE and reverse are always good sellers. And a Dragonite Hollow. Running the low packs. Reverse Rotom decks. And Hariyama. My contact lens is getting a bit funky. Getting a bit annoying. Yay for being the blind man. Uh, we got a reverse Schnabber. Schnabber, Schnabber. And Muscarine. No reverse foil Eevees. I tell you what, those Eevees, they are not coming easy for no one. <laughs> ah, so reverse foil Eevee. <laughs> cool. Just after I was saying it's not easy, now I've got one. Uh, I now need three more, and I will be happy. Oh, and we have a Lapras GX, just a regular GX. Uh, but that means that our GX quotient is now done and dusted, so far as I'm aware. Bit of a disappointing box, not as great as previous boxes have been. I know I shouldn't say that, but let's face it. The uh, Rotom Deck Secret Rare, I'd rather get a Secret Rare Energy, to be honest. Uh, probably about the same price, but yeah. A Steamy Reverse. And a Parasect. And our last booster. If it ever lets me open it. Hey, reverse Oranguru. That is my second Oranguru now. Uh, I'm pretty chuffed about that actually. And an Incineroar. Alright, well that's it for Kraken of the Box. So let's just do a quick revise. What do we get? So we've got a Lapras GX, an Umbreon GX, a Incineroar GX, a Primarina GX, an Espeon Full Art, and a Secret Rare Rotom Dex. So typically a standard box. It's what you're generally going to find in a box. 
not too bad, not amazing. Still, most of these are, oh, excuse me, most of these are probably just go up to get sold anyway, so can't complain. Uh, I think at for the moment, uh, what have we got? 20 minutes. I think it's time to maybe switch, uh, and we will switch to Pokemon if I can figure out which scene it is. Should have set this one up better. Come on, the Pokemon. All right, cool. So while that's loading, let's see if we can switch. That one? No. This one? No. That's really odd. Okay. Uh, oh, I see why. Yep. There we go. Okay. See if we can fit a bit more of the screen in. Hope it's not going to cut anything off, but we'll see. Ah. Oh no. No, an update. Come on. Yay, ooh, what's going on? Sports been added for the Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon expansion. Yeah, already need that. Um, can be used in versus mode immediately and in tournaments for beginning February the 17th, which was technically yesterday for us, so that'll be today. A uh, number of known bugs have been addressed, and that's it. Okay, cool. Just, uh, so that's going to be interesting. So, wonder how I'm going to switch that one up. Just waiting for the scene to switch over. Okay, so do, 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 do. it's gonna cut part of the screen off. Probably should have thought about this with the new sidebar that I, I made for this. But what you gonna do, right? We'll see. We'll we'll see if you can see everything. Otherwise we'll probably just keep going anyway. Um I think I probably should just stop it there and then cut it over. So let's do that. 